we're going to talk about gas stoic today and gas stoic is really the easier of the stoics that we've even covered and that's because it solved like any other stoichiometry problem that we've talked about but with gas stoic the conversion's already defined for you that relationship is already defined as this for every one mole of a gas it's going to take up 22.4 liters if that gas is at STP. If it's not at STP, then you need to use your gas law equations. But if it is at STP, then you get to use this really handy dandy uh, conversion that's already defined for you. STP means standard temperature pressure. Now what STP actually is, what the standard temperatures are, and what the standard pressure is, is this. Standard temperature pressure means that my temperature is 273.15 Kelvin, and my pressure is one atmosphere, okay? This is uh, freezing, and it just kind of lets everything behave really nicely, and so we like to do gas stoic when we're dealing with STP, just because the gases like to behave uh, really kindly to us when we do that. So here is an example problem. Okay, how many liters does 19.3 moles of O2 occupy at STP? Since I see that it's at STP, that means I do not have to use my uh, ideal gas law equation, and I can go ahead and treat it like any other stoic problem, which means that I'm going to translate my problem from English to math. I see that my question word is attached to liters and that my number given is in moles. So I will write it as X liters O2 equals 19.3 moles of O2. STP means I don't have to pay attention to temp temperature. I don't have to pay attention to pressure. I'm good to go. I can just go ahead and use that predefined uh, conversion. Okay, so we need to establish this conversion right now, it's in a sentence form. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to put it into a conversion factor form. And since it says for every one mole of gas, there are 22.4 liters. And since specifically this problem is talking about O2, I went ahead and I attached the compound O2, though this fraction, this conversion is true for any sort of gas at all. But since we're dealing with oxygen, I went ahead and I attached oxygen to those numbers. Okay, now that I have my conversion established as a usable format, I can go ahead and select my appropriate version that will allow me to cancel out moles of oxygen. I have moles on top, which means I need to choose the version of the conversion that has moles on the bottom. That's going to be this right version, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug it in. When I plug it into the actual train tracks, moles are on top and on bottom, so they cancel, leaving me with the unit of liters of O2, which was the unit that I said that I wanted at the very beginning, which means that I can go ahead and plug it into my calculator solve it and round it. Remember we multiply everything on the top? So that's 19.3 and 22.4 and we divide by everything on the bottom, that's just one. And whenever I plug that into my calculator, I got the number 432.32. And that was a pretty nice number, so I didn't round it, but I did go ahead and I attached the unit the only English that was left in my math, the unit that I said that I wanted, I went ahead and I attached that unit at the very end here. So my final box answer was 432.32 liters of oxygen.